This is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. Um, I'm going to tell you a very interesting and I think encouraging story uh, because you're here because you want to lose weight, and I am uh, trying to give you all the tools to help you be successful. So lots of people cite there are so many different causes for weight gain, and yes, there are. But you have to remember, all these causes are one step removed from the final chain in the pathway that makes causes weight gain, which is calorie intake. So a good almost probably 20 years ago, I had uh, a patient in a nursing home, 80 plus non-weight bearing, and it was becoming very dangerous for this person because they were taking in a lot of calories and were almost up to about 300 pounds. So uh, the staff had to move them with a Hoyer lift. And so it was becoming very dangerous for both the patient and actually for the staff. So I put this person on a 1400 calorie diet. And then I forgot about it because I put them on a 1400 calorie diet. Great. And about a year later, I was, you know, you see people every month right? But a year later, I noted the weight change, and this person was down 42 pounds. And I thought, my goodness, I hope, you know, I hope they're not ill. Uh, I better start looking into this. And the charge nurse reminded me, you put her on a diet a year ago. Yes, I did. 1,400 calories a day. And the first thing I thought about when, when considering the story was, well, you know, People might think, well, that's not very nice because, you know, at that age, why would you take away that person's, you know, enjoyment of food? And then I thought, aha, that is the whole point, that we have connected food so strongly with enjoyment and quality of life as opposed to what it should be, which is nutrition. So think about this. When you are thinking about why you eat most people who are at about their ideal body weight, if you ask them why they eat, they will give you this answer. They will say they eat because they're hungry. When there's a struggle with any type of substance, whether it's food, whether it's um, alcohol, whether it's gaming, whether it's, you know, you can think of all sorts of things, right? Why do you do thus and such? Okay, and in this case, why do you eat? Well, lots of times in in when you're struggling with your weight, right, I want you to sit down and do this for yourself. Do this little exercise, okay? And write down all the things, all the reasons behind when you eat because ultimately this is the final link in the chain. If you can manipulate this, all of these other factors, while they are still there, you, you can start to one by one get control over them, but you really have to identify them. And, you know, we'll go over this, but so you're stressed, you're depressed. Um, many people just kind of bored eat, they don't have anything else to do. They go to the pantry, they go to the refrigerator. Um, socializing family or friends, especially around the holidays. How hard is it, right, to go to a get-together or go to a party when everyone else is eating? Do you eat just because they're eating? Think about it. Were you hungry or not? Um, when people are watching TV, notoriously, right, what do you do? Sit down with a bag or a box of something, right? Um, and I always, I tell my kids, never eat out of a bag or box. We have little toddler bowls still at home from when they were little kids. And I make them put, if they're going to have a snack, it's got to go in the toddler bowl, right? So, yes, people eat when you're hungry, but then let's keep going around. Upset with yourself. How many times have you been so annoyed with yourself and that you thought, well, screw it. I'm just going to eat anyway. How is that for a little odd twist, right? And then you're even more upset with yourself, but we know it happens, doesn't it? Um, travel, I have so many people that they um, they have to travel for work or uh, family-related issues or they're even they're just their commute, and what do they do in the car? They get their foo-foo drink from Dunkin' and Donuts. Don't underestimate how many calories that is. 
um, or they again have something else in the car and that's when they eat or it's hard, they when they go certain places they won't pay attention to the calorie count and very difficult when you travel unless you have a little refrigerator in the room and you can ask mo most oftentimes to have a little refrigerator in your room to take the leftovers home don't be afraid of doing that um, and this last one which is very important is craving so this is what gets a lot of people in trouble because why because food especially the high calorie high sugar stuff makes you feel very comfortable almost loved it makes your brain feel very happy I certainly know that I do not keep Ben and Jerry's at my house because if it's there I would eat it that is my happy food um, and I only buy it if I've done a very long run how's that uh, so you can set certain goals for yourself maybe and but the that should be a special treat if there's something that you love right don't buy that so I want you to kind of sit down and think about this because ultimately as you identify the things that really are your triggers to eat then you can start to disengage these from the final behavior if you're you know craving what's the solution to that don't buy it um, I would say if there's stress or anxiety or depression then really you have to start to target shoot what are something what's something else that I can do other than eat uh, and whether that's try to go um, try to do some type of exercise would also be like very positive in terms of the weight um, or try to um, you know even just go out for a walk or uh, call a friend or email someone or start to like make personal connections um, uh, you know you certainly treat the depression or treat the anxiety uh, or try to address the root cause of the stress but these are also important so the the positive note here is that ultimately the the calorie intake part is the controllable part and if you can get a handle on all the things that are pinging you that make you eat then you'll be so much better equipped when it comes to what decision you make and for the new year I'm gonna say if you know there was a strategy that worked really well for you before go back to that strategy so if you're thinking Ugh, you know it's time I really gotta get the weight off have you done Weight Watchers before did it work for you then try to do that or try to really if you can't afford it or you know then try to mimic what you remember um, if you counted your calories before and that worked really well for you go back do the behaviors that if you had success before try to try to go back to those behaviors and then you have to keep the mindset that this is a lifestyle change it's not on a diet because what you go on you'll go off you want to try to identify and th things like Weight Watchers are very maintainable it's a very healthy way of eating it's a very healthy lifestyle so you know you can do the purchasing uh, food meal replacement which is you know like the Nutrisystem thing and that is if you can learn to mimic what they mail you then you can start to do it on your own um, so start to look into these things because ultimately what the calorie intake that you have is the linchpin the center of the wheel that is the linchpin to getting the weight down and when people talk about again like again I encourage you if you can it's a wonderful article and she puts great links in this article um, uh, to all sorts of uh, assistance uh, like programs so toward the end of the article there are a lot of really good links um, uh, so check that out I highly recommend it it was a well written and a very personalized account um, of a family you know trying to help a loved one so um, I hope you'll uh, take this to heart and actually sit down and put pen to paper and write this all out for yourself because it really takes you examining your your behaviors before you can get a handle on it otherwise you're not going to really make that change that different decision when you get up tomorrow morning and why wait till New Year's Day right tomorrow morning you should start to think okay 
you know, how am I going to watch my uh, intake uh, today and be healthy and keep it um, under the, my limit so that I know that I'm going to be successful in my weight loss. All right, so I hope this is helpful for you. And uh, again, if uh, there are some questions or topics you want me to try to cover, uh, please uh, send me a little note and we'll try to do that. All right, you guys are doing great. Thank you.